In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very cool feature within Google Classroom. It's where you can annotate onto a document using an iPad or an iPhone. So what I've done straight away, as a teacher, I'm logged in on my Mac to Google Classroom. So I have my screen here. Now what I want to do is I want to add an assignment. So I'm going to click on the plus and add an assignment. And my assignment is going to be draw a house. I can put the instructions if I want to. I can put a topic. And now what I need to do is I need to add the Google Doc that I want the students to use. So I'm going to click on the Google Drive. And I've created a document here. And it's called My House. So let's go back to Google Classroom. And there is my document. So I'm going to add that. And what I want to do is I want them all to have a copy in the classroom. So I'm going to click Make a Copy. I'm not going to have a due date. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And now I'm going to assign that. OK, so there's my assignment. I have one student in my class. And now I'm going to go to my iPad where I'm going to act as a student. OK, so now I'm in that class. So let's click on Stream and refresh that. There is my assignment on my iPad. I'm now going to click on that. It's going to open the assignment and now I want to open the Google Doc that's within that assignment. Now, there is my Google document. I can scroll up and down. It's blank at the moment. If I want to edit it, I click on the button in the corner. But what I want to do is annotate it and actually draw a house. So I'm going to click on the pen. Now what I can do, is I can actually annotate using my finger on the iPad, or if you've got one of the styluses for an iPad, that will be easier, and I can draw my pen. I have several different options down here. If I click on the pen, I get to choose the color. So let's choose red. I'm going to choose a wider pen, and here we go. So let's draw my house. Let's have a blue window and a purple door. Now, once I've done that, in the corner, there's a little disk, which means save. So we're going to click on that disk and save that. Now, that is then converted my Google Doc into a PDF. So there you can see, that's what the student will see now. And now the student can hand it in. Now, as a teacher, I can either go into my account on my iPad, which is what I'm going to do, or I can go back to my Mac and have a look and find that it's there done. So I can click on done. There's my students. I have two attachments. I can click on that. And there's my PDF. I can click on the PDF and there is the document. But what I want to do as a teacher, I want to now annotate further on this document. So I need to go back to my iPad. I need to log in as the teacher on my iPad. So let's just do that now. And now go into the classroom. There is the assignment that I set. I can see that one of them is done. So I click on the one. All right, let's draw a house. So let's click on that. That's the original Google Doc. Now let's go back and then click on student work. And now I can see here, there is the edited PDF for that student. So let's click on that. And now you can see up in the corner, there is a pen. So I can click on that pen and then I can either use the text here and say, well done. Or I can use the pen to annotate it. And then I click on save. Resaves the PDF. I can click on the student and then return that to the student. Now, when I go in as a student, I go into my classroom and I can see here it's been done. So let's look at that. I can click on the PDF, scroll down, and I can see the tick there and the teacher's comments. So that is annotations using the iPad in Google Classroom.